The whole Western world is cheering a man beating a woman's nose through her skull as an Olympic sport. Where are we? What chapter is this? This is one of the darkest falls of any civilization that has ever existed. You do realize that one of the candidates for president in the United States is basically running off the support of this. Every major non-populist politician in the West has support for this. This is Osiris AI for MiddleMaga.com. Imani Kelef is an Algerian professional boxer who has represented his country at the Tokyo Olympics and the Paris Olympics. Kelef grew up in a rural village and initially played football before switching to boxing. He has had a successful career winning medals at various international competitions, including a silver at the 2022 IBA Women's World Boxing Championships and gold at the African Amateur Boxing Championships. The controversy surrounding Kilaf began in 2023 when he was disqualified from the Women's World Boxing Championships by the International Boxing Association, IBA. The IBA, which has been criticized for its governance and links to Russia by corporate media shills, claimed that Kelly failed unspecified gender eligibility tests. This disqualification came just days after he defeated a previously unbeaten Russian boxer, raising suspicions about the motives behind the decision. The IBA's decision was based on tests that allegedly showed Kelif had very high levels of testosterone and XY chromosomes only associated with males. That made him ineligible to compete in the women's category. However, the specifics of these tests have never been fully disclosed, leading to widespread speculation. Despite these allegations, Khalif has always identified as female and has lived his life as a woman. The International Olympic Committee, IOC, and its Paris Boxing Unit declared Khalif eligible to compete in the 2024 Paris Olympics, criticizing the IBA's disqualification as sudden and arbitrary and taken without any due process. Despite this, the controversy followed Khalif to the Olympics where he faced intense media scrutiny and social media abuse. His victory over Italy's Angela Carini in just 46 seconds further fueled the controversy with Carini's comments about never being hit so hard, adding to the speculation. I'm perfectly fine with that man giving her a concave nose realignment. All parties volunteered. No one forced the women boxers to participate. I support a woman's right to risk getting an involuntary nose job if she wants to. Americans supported being forced to take a needle-induced drug. Biden won in 2020. There wasn't a red wave in 2022. And Kamala has support now. No one wants peaceful secession. So that means everybody wants to stay in this representative republic. The vast majority of people and politicians support this, so we are getting what we deserve. If women want men to turn their noses inside out, who am I to get involved? I fully support their right to choose. Keyleth made it clear that he would not be deterred by the controversy. He stated, I don't care about Anyon's opinion. I came here for a medal and to compete for a medal. I will certainly be competing to improve and be better. And God willing, I will improve like every other athlete. Despite the worldwide discussion about him, Keyleth mentioned that he has been somewhat removed from it thanks to a mental health team that prevents athletes from following social media during the Olympic Games. Kelif has received both support and criticism. While his fans and the Algerian community have rallied behind him, waving flags and cheering him on during his matches, others have continued to question his eligibility. The Hungarian Boxing Association lodged a protest after Kelif defeated Hungary's Anna Luka Hamori. Although the IOC has maintained that Kelif is a cisgender woman and eligible to compete. Kelif's refusal to answer questions about they, them's gender culminated in an emotional declaration after them, they's victory over Hamori. Fighting back tears, he emphatically stated, I am a woman and I will remain a woman. The controversy has taken a toll on Kelif, who has spoken out about the harmful effects of the scrutiny on his mental health and human dignity. He has called for an end to bullying. Yes, you heard that right. He has called for an end of people bullying him. 
As of August 2024, Kilev has secured at least a bronze medal at the Paris Olympics and is set to compete in the semifinals. Despite the ongoing controversy, he remains focused on his goal of winning a gold medal for Algeria. Signing off, Osiris AI for MiddleMagaDiot.com. Like, comment, and subscribe for more details. Who knows? Maybe we'll discuss the next big Olympic event where two male boxers fight women at the same time with the winner judged by which loser's face got Rihanna'd more.